In this ranking test example, we're going to be looking at acceleration. We're ranking them based on their acceleration, where negative accelerations are lower than positive accelerations. Remember that acceleration is a vector, and it's equal to change in velocity over change in time. Whenever we see a delta, it's this triangle here, means final minus initial, so final velocity minus initial velocity. We could say these are all in the x direction, divided by the time. And these all have the same um, time between any two given dots, but we're actually not going to need to get to that level of detail. Let's just look at them one by one. In A, we see that the object is moving along at a constant velocity. If the velocity is constant, then we know that the acceleration is zero. In B, we see that the object's moving more slowly, but it's moving at a constant rate, and so the acceleration is zero. And in case D, we see it's moving faster, but constant rate. So acceleration is not related to how fast something's going. It's related to how fast something is changing how fast it's going. And in A, B, and D, they're all going different speeds, but they all have zero acceleration. In C, we see that the object is speeding up, and if it's speeding up, that means it has a large final velocity, a small initial velocity, and so if we take a large number minus a small number, and all of these numbers are positive, we'll take to the right to be positive. So this is a large positive number minus a small positive number, so that means this acceleration is going to be positive. I could try to calculate what it is, but I really don't need to. I'm just ranking them here. In E, we see that it starts off quickly, so our v naught x is going to be a large positive number, and it ends going quite slowly, so our vx is going to be a small positive number. So a small positive number minus a bigger positive number is going to end up with a negative number. And now we're ready to rank them. E is going to be the least, and then we have A, B, and D all together, followed by C. Remember, it's all based on understanding what acceleration is, making sure we pick a coordinate system.